A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. engineers who built the first railroad and telegraph across the western United States found many obstacles in their way. Not only the forces of nature, hostile Indians and outlaws, but also honest men and women who refused to face the new day of progress. The masked rider of the plains was the only ally on whom they could depend, and it was his vision of the future that finally made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Antelope Valley. There's going to be trouble. Oh, Silver! Away! <laughs> Old Jared Danbury owned a ranch that stretched straight across Antelope Valley. In spite of the fact that Antelope Valley was the most direct route between Carson City and the West, Jared forced travelers to go the long way around. He would let nobody use his property for a thoroughfare. So when young Bill Slater, field engineer in charge of stringing up the new telegraph line, heard riders approaching, he knew what to expect. Run for cover! It's Danbury and his hired hands. Drop your shovels and picks, run for shelter. I say shoot it out with I'm it. giving the orders here under cover. Right now. Hold your heart, boys. Oh, 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 oh. Never mind firing off your guns, now fire down. We don't like to have guns firing at us, mister. They wasn't fired at you, just in the air. My name's Danbury, Jared Danbury. That's what I thought. Who's in charge here? You're speaking to him. Slater's the name. Well, Slater, another ten feet and you'll be on my property. I own the Antelope Valley spread. I already said word into town. No newfangled telegraph wire poles touch my land, savvy? I told you, gents, to keep your distance. The telegraph wire's got to go through, Mr. Danbury. Then swing it around, my land. Travelers have to go around. Why shouldn't you? The United States government gave us the right to put up this telegraph the shortest way. You can't fight the government. I own this spread. It's mine to do with as I like. And in this particular case, I don't like the telegraph. Set foot on my land, and you and your men get bullets. My orders are not to get in trouble with anyone, Mr. Danbury. Then stay you... off. Stay off, and there'll be no trouble. Oh. Oh, what's wrong? I, I heard shooting. It's nothing, Mary Bell. I just wanted to make certain these hombres know where to head in. Miss, all we want to do Never is Never mind get this... talking to my daughter, Slater. I nor any of my kinfolk want any part of you. Now, Pa, aren't you being silly? The telegraph's a good thing. Mary Bell, you hush. Slater, you're going to heed my warning? I reckon we'll stay off, Mr. Danbury. Hmm. But only long enough to get an order from the government. Even if it takes a regiment of soldiers, we'll string a wire across your land. That's my final word. Kino. And here's my final word. Make one move to string up your wire and by gravy you'll get strung up yourself. Now get out.
I got Carson City, Slater. They say that... I know what they said. I can read Morse code, Henshaw. So we wait until I get a court order giving us the permission we need. We could beat Danbury easy in a gunfight. We got more men. No gunfighting. This has got to be legal. You'll have to go to Carson City yourself? Yeah, that's what they said over the wire. Are you going now? Yeah, no sense wasting time. Come along and help me saddle my horse. We'll bring a canteen. Right. You got your gun? Gun and grub. You'll find the canteen back in the tent. Yeah, steady, boy. Let me hoist the saddle on you. Can I help you? Yeah, I can cinch it up, thanks. My horse is quieter than usual. Won't take two to handle him this time. You get me that water, huh? Okay. Now, what does that word mean, Mr. Slater? What in bleak? Oh, I'm his Danbury man. You been standing here long? A few minutes. No wonder my horse didn't act up. I reckon you got a way of gentling lots of things. I wish you could gentle your father. What did that word mean, Mr. Slater? Hmm? The man who just left, he, he said, okay. Oh, you mean Henshaw. Well, okay is a telegraph word, Mrs. Maribel. To men working the telegraph, it means, uh, all right, everything's understood and so on. Oh, something like Kino. Mm-hmm, yeah. You're going somewhere? Yeah, Carson City. i got to put in a complaint. Get a court order to go through your father's land. Paul's awful stubborn. And so is the United States government. Paul means well, but sometimes he gets so cantankerous he reaches for his gun before he thinks. You, um, you won't let the men you leave behind start any shooting, will you? No, ma'am. They got strict orders to stand pat till I get back. Uh, if all this gets settled up, would, would you... Yes. What is it, Mr. Slater? Would you have any objection if I rode up some evening to talk with you? Well, I reckon I'd look forward to it. I... Oh. Oh, Miss Marybelle. Oh, I... I feel I'm like dizzy. I... Oh. Hey, Miss Marybelle, I... yeah, you oh. fell right out of your saddle. You ill? I... I'm all right, I... I think. Here's your canteen of water, Slater. I bring it as land to go. Never mind, open that canteen. Here, Miss Marybelle, take a sip. Yeah, you feel better? All right. Fine now. You'll just help me into the saddle. I'll do more than that. I'll see you get home safely. Up you go. You, you can't, Mr. Slater. My father catches you on the ranch. He'll... The least I can do is take you home. Your father won't start any shooting about that. Yes, yeah, steady boy. But don't you No see... arguments. I want to make certain you're all safe and sound before I head for Carson City. Oh, and Henshaw, don't you forget. Don't take matters into your own hands. I want no gunfighting. All right. Well, come along, ma'am. We'll take it easy. Moon's up, Tonto. Watch for the telegraph line. Ah, uh, you think maybe trouble? Even before we left Carson City two days ago, we heard that the telegraph line was surveyed to go through Antelope Valley. Answer Danbury. Him own that section. So Missouri told us. Missouri said that Danbury would put up a fight before he let his land be crossed. That might mean shooting, Tonto. We near Antelope Valley already. From what I hear, Danbury is an honest man, but he's used to the old free and easy days. He isn't used to law and order. There wire now. See it yonder? Yes, the telegraph wire. Shines in the moonlight. Danbury's ranch must be just ahead, Kimosabe. Who you talk to first? Danbury. We can see the telegraph crew later. But he's a stumbling block. Perhaps we can persuade him to go on. What matter? Rain up. Horses crossing our trail. A man and a girl. Ah. Try to make Paul see how wrong he is about the telegraph line, Mr. Slater. I'm sorry, Miss Mayor, but I reckon a court order is the only way. You still insist on seeing me home? Yes, ma'am. And I promise not to get in shooting straight with your father doing it, neither. Yes, you're going to the Danbury Ranch. Ah, Danbury, her father. And the telegraph man with her. We'd better trail after them, Kimosabe. Make sure of your guns. Get him up, Scout. Not too fast, Silver. Yes, Pa. I didn't know you'd been out riding. I'm sorry, Pa. I went out alone. Came mighty near fainting, and and this gentleman was good enough to show me home. Fainting, Mary Bell. Did you forget your medicine? I, I guess I did. You know, the last time the doc came out from Carson City, he said for you to take that every day. Now don't fail. I won't, Pa. But that medicine's silly. It, it saves your life. Now no arguing. Get inside and take it. And you, Mister, I want to thank you for. I see you recognize. Me. Well, I'll be dog. You, 
Maribel, out of the way. Paul. I want you to stay off my spree. I'm leaving right now. Only came on your daughter's account. Paul, why don't you give up this foolishness? Bill's on his way to Carton City. To get a court order to put the telegram through, you can't... Daughter, you hush up. So it's Bill, is it? Goodbye, Miss Maribel. Not goodbye so easy, mister. On top of everything else, you get friendly with my daughter. Now, I warned you before. Now you're back. Reach for your shooting iron. Can be. If you won't, I will. I'm drawn, Slater. Oh! oh. Leave that guy on the ground, Denver. Uh, who, who are you? The mask man. Paul, you hurt. He shot the gun out of my hand. Mister, I'm obliged to you and the Indians. Save your thanks, Slater. On your horse and travel. Danbury's hired hands are coming from the bunkhouse. Well, they sure are. Adios, Miss Maribel. Good riddance to bad rubbish. I suggest you do likewise, mask man. Maribel, now you see what kind of company that Slater hombre keeps? An engine and a masked outlaw. I don't think they're outlaws. And as for Bill, I... Bill, is it? All right, I'll show you. If he can go to Carson City, so can I. I'll follow him there. And I'll stop him from getting a court order, too. He must have Men come pretty soon now. Better we go, huh? Yes, Tonto. Goodbye, Miss Danbury. Adios. Goodbye, Danbury. Don't be foolish. I'll show you who's foolish. Billy! Yeah. Chandler! Saddle me a horse. I'm riding for Carson City. Ride, Miss Men. They can't catch you. Who's who? While we wait here, Kemosabe. This is the trail to Carson City, Tonto. I want to see if Danbury means what he said. About going to Carson City? That's what he meant to do. Maybe girl changed his mind. I don't think much can change Danbury's mind, Tonto. He's got a muley streak in him all the way. Somebody come. We can see from here. Ah, uh, and Danbury? Heading for Carson City. Well, that settled it. Now, what do you mean? You stay here, Kemosabe. Keep your eye on Miss Danbury and the telegraph crew. A me, Savvy. There may be trouble here. Danbury must have left orders with his hands to keep the telegraph line off his ranch. But with Slater gone, the telegraph men may become impatient of doing nothing. That's right. They may take matters into their own hands and force their way on Danbury's land. He watch all the time. But trouble not all in one place. Maybe Danbury meets Slater on trail. You watch the situation here. I'm heading for Carson City. If Slater and Danbury meet, I'll be there. Adios, Kimosabe. Go on, Silver. <laughs> Couple days more travel, horse, and we'll be in Carson City. Ah, it sure beats me how one of the old crab apple like Danbury can have a daughter as sweet as Mary Bell. <laughs> She's the nicest girl. Hey! I... Uh -uh. Looks like we got company. Oh boy. Train up there. I want to powwow with yes, you. I done some hard riding to catch up with you, Slater. Now I want to. Danbury, stay I'm getting good and tired of your ways. I got business to tend to. So have I. Unfinished business. I'm on my way to Carson City. And I'm here to stop you. Well, I'll be... Are you still aiming to use guns to settle this? That's the way I'm built. Oh, doggone. They got courts of law to settle scrapes like this. Besides, I don't want to fight you. Oh, yellow, huh? Yellow. Are you calling me a coward? To your face. That settles it. All right, then. We're alone beside this cottonwood. Do any time you so desire. There's a limit to what a man can stand. Shoots me down to the ground. Your gun loaded? It's loaded. Kino, then reach for it. No, you don't. There'll be no gunplay. Well, I'll you be... You again. Miss Man, you sure turn up, don't you? I rode ahead of Danbury. I knew you'd meet around here. It's tail protecting Slater, huh? Danbury, I called you foolish once, and it still goes. I'm protecting you. I got my gun for that. You're not using your gun, neither one of you. Because I'm riding with you. Huh? Yes, all the way to Carson City and all the way back, if necessary. There may be trouble back at Antelope Valley, but there'll be no trouble here. This is one argument the law is going to settle. Now, shall we go ahead? The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. While the Lone Ranger rode to Carson City with Danbury and Slater to prevent them from taking the law into their own hands, Tonto stayed near Antelope Valley, keeping his eye on the ranch and the telegraph crew. He saw Jared Danbury's daughter often, and one afternoon... Hi! Howdy, Tonto. 
<laughs> you ride out this way plenty much. I like to ride. It's a long time for Slater get back from Carson City. Hmm. Why should I be interested in him? <laughs> you not fool Tonto. Right? <laughs> well, I guess it's pretty hard to fool you. You know uh, what's going on at the ranch, and you know what's going on at the telegraph camp. Well, Tonto do what mass friend tell him. The ranch hands are all right. How about the telegraph crew? Mm, Tonto not so sure. You're not? They not do anything. Just wait. They not like to wait. You, you reckon they may boil over? Maybe so. Slater could handle them. Uh, but Slater, him gone. Well, it shouldn't be so long now before he gets back. Pa won't dare oppose a court order. Uh, uh, Miss Danbury. Yes? You tell Tonto about medicine. You'll not forget today. <laughs> Tonto, I declare you watch over me like a hawk. Oh, I... You see, I brought the medicine and a spoon with me in a saddlebag. I'm supposed to take it around three in the afternoon. Just around that now. Of course, I'm certain this medicine isn't as important as Pa thinks it is, but I humor it. Well, you take medicine. That's what I'm doing. I'm pouring a spoonful and you go... Oh, oh you drop medicine. Never mind that medicine. What's the shooting? You got more medicine? Never mind it, I tell you. All right, come quick. We see what's shooting all about. Get up, boy. Get him up, scout. Ranch hands and those telegraph men. We make them stop. Burley, Chandler, stop shooting. Get back across the ranch line. You not shoot. Nobody shoot. Stop shooting. Call it your fire. You'll hit the girl. What's the meaning of this? Well, Miss Mary Bell, your father told us to keep those armories off the ranch. Sam, you gone loco? You cut right in between us. Why, you and the engine might have caught a bullet. At least you stop shooting. Yeah, but I'll say this. We're getting all fired impatient. The next time those armories start target practice, we'll forget our orders. We'll go further in and take that ranch by force. Stop it. Stop this minute. Burley, take the ranch hands back. There's plenty of work for him to do. Keno, Miss Marybelle. All right, boys, I reckon this brush is over. Back to work. Oh. What's your name? My name's Henshaw, miss. Slater left me in charge. Then see you keep the peace. I'm trying to. Only my boys are getting kind of edgy. They want to get that telegraph line through. You won't get it by fighting. Well, I don't know. That's one way. You stay here. Something happened plenty quick. Now, don't get your dander up, Injun. All right, men. Back to the tents. We'll try and keep ourselves in hand till the boss gets back. But we ain't promising. Get up there. Come on. Get up. Get up there. Come on. Well, at least nobody's hurt. Well, not this time. You think there may be another time? Well, Tonto not like this. Better they get back from Carson City soon. If you keep an eye on those telegraph men, I'll keep Paul's hands and give him a real talking to. Ah, that's a good idea. Maybe that way we can keep things quiet. Maybe so. You come out tomorrow to a place where we talk, huh? Yes, Tonto. I'll be there tomorrow. Mm, that good. Now you go and take medicine. Medicine? But I, I spilled the bottle. Then you take other bottle. But I... Well, anyway, don't worry. I'll be riding out to see you tomorrow, same as usual. Adios. Adios. Ah, uh, Scout. Me not like this. Something wrong. Me not sure what, but something plenty wrong. Tonto's guess was right. Something was very wrong. For the next afternoon, as Tonto waited, instead of the girl, he saw a man approaching at a fast gallop. Hey, Scout, that foreman from ranch. Get him up. Tonto, come! What matter? Where girl? Engine. She sent me for you. She says you know something about doctoring. Oh, Tonto know a little. And you better come pronto. Miss Mary Bell's sick. Huh? Why'd she not take medicine? Because she has no more medicine. That bottle she spilled was the only one she had. Oh, that plenty bad. Come, we go fast. Get him up, scout. Get up. Tell her I never thought that medicine was, was so important. I... <laughs> Yes, I was wrong. No, you not talk. Tonto, see. I, I always thought Paul was just putting it on when, when he told me the doctor said I, I had to take it every single day. No, you not talk. You lie quiet. I I was awful sick a while back, and the doctor said I had to take this medicine for, for six months, maybe. A l little less each uh, day. Tonto know that by now. Now you lie quiet, not try to move or talk, Savvy. I, I had to tell you. Uh, you tell me, not all. Well, how is she, Jim? Oh, her bad. 
Where doctor? Huh? Her need medicine pronto. a where doctor? There's nothing you can do. Me help some, but not much. That special medicine. Tonto not got that medicine. Oh, and she's done for. The doctor's all the way over to Carson City. Huh? Yeah, and that's the nearest. Not another doctor any closer. We couldn't ride there and back in time. No. You get cook. Me tell him how make Indian medicine. Maybe help for a little while. Then you and me ride for help. I just told you the oh, near... Tonto here. You hurry. But Indian, where are we Tonto going? Tonto got plan. Maybe it work. We go see telegraph man. <laughs> Dead rabbit, masked man. You got no call to keep me here outside of Carson City while that young whippersnapper goes in. I'm practically a prisoner. He's gone to court to see about that order. An order to trespass on my land. The government wants to. Government no... nothing. Order or no order, I'm stopping anybody from going through. We'll see about that. We sure will. Well, here he comes now. And from the way he's riding, it looks as if he got what he's after. I'm not so sure, Danbury. He's riding too hard for that. Danbury, masked man! Later, what is it? There's trouble? Danbury, I just came from the telegraph station. It's Mary Bell, your daughter. My daughter? What do you mean? She's sick, bad sick. She dropped that bottle of medicine. Dropped a bottle? Oh, great horn toad. She's got to have that medicine. Without it, she... Eh, wait a second there. What kind of longbow story are you handing out? We're more than 100 miles from my ranch. How could you know? Didn't you hear him, Danbury? He's telling the truth. He got that message over the telegraph line. Tonto must have sent it. That's right, mass man. My daughter, no medicine. What can we do? Slater. Yeah? Perhaps I can make it. Yes, Danbury. This man is the Lone Ranger. That's the message the Indian sent. The Lone Ranger? We'll have to pick up the medicine first. It's Doc Cartwright, mister. He lives on the edge of town. I stopped off there already on the way out. He's mixing that medicine right now. Said it'll be ready time we get there. Then let's go. Come on, Silver. Get up there, boy. Come on, get up. Yes, Lone Ranger, that's his place. There's a doctor right out in front. Here's the medicine, here it is. Give it to me. Good luck, man. Come on, Silver. Come on, old boy. Danbury, who... Who in blazes is that mask man? He took the bottle out of my hand without even slowing down. I thought you wanted that medicine. Maribel does, doctor. But the Lone Ranger can get it there faster than anybody else. The Lone Ranger? I got my horse saddled. Just in case your girl needs more than that medicine, I'd better tag after it. Doc, you... Will that medicine save her, at least, till we get there? It's the same medicine, son. The masked man's got a fast horse. He, he ought to make it, don't you think? I wish I could encourage you, son. It's a long way. I never seen the horse yet could do it fast enough. But that white horse, Doc, look at him travel. Why, he, he's got to make it. Yeah? He sure is traveling. Still, I... I don't want to trouble you none, Danbury. But can he keep going at that speed? That's the question. Can he keep going? <laughs> Onward across the plains flashed the great horse as silver-shod hooves pounding the prairie as the Lone Ranger urged him forward. It's a long way, Silver. We've got to keep going at full speed. The girl needs help. She needs it soon. No whip, no spur was needed, not for Silver. The white stallion's mane whipped as he raced faster than the wind, and the voice of his master was spur enough. A clarion voice ringing like a bugle call in Silver's ears. It's a girl's life against time, Silver. Cover the ground, old fella. Faster, Silver, faster. On and on, from Carson City toward the ranch in the distant valley. On and on, a cloud of dust swirling toward the horizon behind the shining hoops. Hour after hour, on and on and on. Well, Silver, away! Tell the engine if she goes, Antelope Valley Ranch won't be the same. Won't be the same without her. Uh, it's almost noon already. It's almost 24 hours since we sent that message. Those telegraph men are fixing to move in anyways. But there's not one of us will have the gumption to stop them. Not if, not if Miss Marybelle don't pull through. Want to try everything. You've done your best, engine. Girl need medicine. That all. The boys are sitting around out in the porch, just hoping and praying. Jared Danbury's daughter. Well, we worshipped the ground she walked on, and, and now... It's it not too late. Oh, but it will be soon. Poor Jared. He has a temper like a catamount, but, but he loves his daughter. Injun. Injun, you hear anything? Sounds like a, like a horse. That's silver. The boys here, too. They're getting up. They're beginning to look off to the east there. Injun. That's silver. That's silver. Uh, Gravy is the stallion. Boys, that's him. He's coming. Tie. Tie, Kimo Am I in time? Uh, you bring medicine? Right here, Tonto. What about the girl? You bring medicine. Girl, be all right now. Girl, be all right. Plenty soon. Masked man, you and that horse made the greatest ride that ever was. 
You hear that, James? Yeah. The engine says Miss Mary Bell's going to be all right. Yes, sir. Now let them telegraph men try to cross the Antelope Valley spread. Just let them try. Danbury, look yonder. It's the masked man. He got here. Yes, and he got here long ahead of us because there's your daughter right beside him. Danbury, that medicine was all she needed. I see her, Doc. I see her. Oh, oh. Mary Bell, you, you're all right. You're, you're all better. Miss Mary Bell, I'm sure glad to see you like you used to be. The masked man hadn't made that great ride with the medicine. The masked man, you and the engine done me a service I can never repay. Never. Tonto and I are going, Danbury, but you can repay that service. Whatever it is, just name it. Respect the law. Slater, did you get that order from the court allowing you to go through Danbury's ranch? Why, doggone it, I clean forgot to pick it up. I forgot all about it. I was so worried about Miss Maybell. Uh, Slater, I want to tell you something. You don't need that court order. Huh? I can see now that I was stupid and stubborn and cantankerous. I can see I was in the wrong, and I'm sorry. The masked man saved my girl. But so did your telegraph. The telegraph got the message through. We'd never known she was sick otherwise. Yes, sir, Slater, bring on your men. String up that telegraph wire. By gravy, I'll help you do it myself. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 